For most of Anna Jack's life, the restaurant has been a neighborhood Thai spot. It was started by my father 43 years ago, and I took over about four years now. I grew up here. It was my living room, my dining room, uh, my home. This little ship that my father built became a vessel for, for many great ideas that we continue to work on together. Thai Taco Tuesday really started in the pandemic, kind of taking a cue actually from some of the great cultures of street food, dining, and we sort of bring the kitchen out into the alley. We have these Japanese conros, you bring out the Yetis as the coolers, our pass is there, and there's just smoke billowing everywhere. It's primarily all lit by one little light above the storage closet. It's a nice vibe and it's an atmosphere of kind of convivial casualness that I really like. Thai Taco Tuesday is really focused around a very punchy, contrasty set of flavors. We have a very nice striped bass taco with some chili crisp that we make. We have three or four different tostadas that we do. We have a bluefin and scallop uni tostada. We have a Chinese sausage tostada. So they're all sort of irreverent takes on things that I would sort of see as either a Thai or a Chinese play on mariscos, I guess. And then there's the things that you have to have in a meal, which is obviously fried chicken and some good noodles and some good grilled pork collar. In the end, that's my thesis, which is, you know, it, it doesn't take a lot of money and it doesn't take a lot of effort to find creativity. You can do a lot with plastic chairs and a couple small grills. You know, I realized our role as a chef, as a storyteller, you know, we're changing the narrative of what our story is and what our story has become. My father had a very specific narrative and I was, in some ways, in order to continue my father's narrative, I had to rewrite it, but in my own handwriting. 